Uh, Young? Mm-hmm. All right, what we're making today is a simple um, extension cord holder. Um, I got tired of the little cheap-ass ones we get from Lowe's and Home Depot or whatever. And what you need, what I got, you can make them any size you want. It's up to you. The long ones are 15 inches, and the short ones are, I think, three and a half. Should be about three and a half inches. Yeah, they're about three and a half. Actually, these are about three and a quarter. Or, I'm sorry, three and three quarters. Um, you're going to need, obviously, PVC cutters, four T's, two long ones, and six of the short three and a half or three and a three quarter, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Some glue and a tape measure, or you can guesstimate whatever the hell you want to do. So pretty much it's pretty simple. Um, you get your four T's and what you're looking for really is I'm just going to build it and you guys will figure it out. How about that? We don't care about getting glue on Chris's hood because she's going to um, repaint it eventually. Nobody wants the John Deere green. When you do this, though, you're going to have to do it quick so you can get it all straight. It really doesn't matter. You don't have to have it straight. It's up to you. All right. We're not intentionally going to try and drip some glue on her thing. <laughs> but. And I put one of these together without the glue. And to be honest with you, you really probably don't even need to glue it. Because it took me a good five minutes to get the damn thing back apart again. So I could do this uh, video for everybody. Don't forget, if you want, visit the forum. SHTFM.com or you can uh, listen to the radio shows every Tuesday and Thursday at uh, shtfradio.com put these on you probably see my ugly mug now no <laughs> you're the only one that has the luxury of looking at my ugly mug Lumpy will be doing a show Tuesday, and I think it's going to be a pretty good show. It'll be the first show of 2012, and it's going to be about all the new laws and crap that are going into to effect right now. Like I said, this is really simple stuff here, man. I got tired of the cheap ones, and this one works pretty good on a 150 foot cord, and I guarantee you I could probably get. 200, 300 foot of cord on this thing. And the T's are pretty cheap. The 10 pack was about $2.70, $2.70 for a uh, 10 pack of the T's. And out of one stick of conduit, I can get two of these at my measurements made. And I'm almost done. And at the end of the video, I'll post a picture of it with a. Uh, extension cord on there and that's it man that's like uh what's the time on the camera right now chris almost four minutes really almost four minutes that long i thought it was quicker than that well that's it and what is that just an extension cord holder well this one here is crooked so we'll take that Ain't nothing a little banging can't fix. Then you're all good. Twist it up, let it dry, put your extension cord on it, you're good to go. Visit the forum, shtfm.com, or listen to the radio shows Tuesday and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, shtfradio.com. And I'm out. See ya. Come in. Alright, we're going to wrap the extension cord on here instead of just taking a picture, we'll just do it like this. I like to leave my male end out about three or four feet. That way when I plug in, I can leave this next to the outlet or whatever. 
if I'm not, you know, taking the whole damn extension cord off. Pretty simple. If you don't want this dragging, I just use and wrap it up with my hand like this here. Whatever. All right. I was going to put a handle on these originally, but you don't need to because once you get to going, this is a lot easier to wrap. It don't twist like them cheap ass ones. And we're just going to wrap this thing up and then I'm going to put it in my truck and I got to go to work tomorrow. And I'm going to see how some bitch works, but I'm assuming it's going to work just like the uh, other one. You got me all hooked up on a freaking brick now because you moved it, Chris. It's all your fault. There you go. The other one, man, I'll show you in a second. Let me finish this. But the other one, after you put a damn cord on it for about five minutes, it all twists up and it's all messed up. This 150 foot cord, and it's like nothing on here. It ain't hurting it at all. And then you can either do like uh, Chris came up with, you just wrap it like this and be done with it. Whatever you want to do. But like I said, I like to leave this one in case you, you don't have to extend out your female end any, you know, too long. And you can do the same thing here. You can wrap this one up. That's a pretty good idea right there, Chris. And then you're done. You throw it in the truck and you're good to go. Stay right there. I'm going to get the other one and show you what it looks like after. These are the cheap ass ones you get. Yeah, they might be good for like Christmas lights or something. But, I mean, this thing ain't even three months old. So, I don't know. That thing probably costs a buck or something like that. And this thing might cost you $2 to make. The conduit costs, it's half inch. All this stuff is half inch, by the way. The conduit costs $1.72 for a 10 foot piece, which I can get two of these out of. The tees cost two dollars and 72 cents for 10 of them so you're looking at five bucks for two of them so you're looking at 250 a piece um, and you can like I said you can get that's a 150 foot cord you can probably get 200 300 feet on there easily and that's only 14 or actually that's probably 16 gauge you could probably get you a nice 100 foot 12 gauge extension cord on that thing and for everybody else, you can put Christmas lights on it, whatever you want to do. They're cheap, simple, easy. Have a great day. Visit the forum, shtfm.com. Or listen to the radio show, shtfradio.com. Talk to you later.